This adventure started with a dumb idea. Bought myself a motorbike. And turned into something really amazing. Let's go! From riding by volcanoes. First active volcano that I ever saw. Through rain clouds up the mountains. Literally driving in the middle of a cloud. To finding the biggest waterfall I've ever seen. This is the most amazing waterfall I ever saw in my life. Before something really bad happened. But let's start from the beginning. From today, something really special is about to start. Oh. You have no idea. I bought myself a motorbike. Look at that. Right now we are at the mechanic. We will in general and check the tires, fix the brake. The brake is a little bit loose. Got all the papers, vehicle registration, owner history. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you. I just bought the bike. 15 minutes passed. There's this keyhole cover helps you to secure your bike so strangers cannot open it. You cannot put the key into the hole if you have this on. And it's usually working pretty fine, except for now. We check everything, the brakes, the, the tires, the engines, the lights, everything except for this one. I can't open the keyhole, I can't use the bike right now. There's five of us trying to figure out what the f to do with this. Welcome to Indonesia. Yeah, welcome to Indonesia, man. <laughs> if you have this issue, the, the solution is you gotta remove the whole front panel in order to get to this part right over there right like why would anything go easy in life i plan to ride my way from sumatra to bali yep that's right you heard it right oh you have no idea 3500 kilometers we'll see how far we can go not too far don't worry all right let's get just going so i started to ride from bukit lawan northern sumatra to the direction of padang in western sumatra Roads were terrible as usual, traffic was alright, not as crazy as before, so I could make my first couple kilometers without any major issues. As a digger leg, you big chunk of missing pieces of road! Huge potholes everywhere! Well, at least the scene is pretty cool, beside the fact that it's raining! Yeah, well, you know, it's Southeast Asia, tropical region, a little rain won't stop anyone. Let's go! Looking at me like what the f is this dude doing here, you know? I can understand I haven't seen any European or Western person in the past two or three days, so yeah, makes sense though. So I drove around 60 kilometers today only and there's there's at least another 90 left and I just stopped at a roadside diner somewhere in some outskirts of a village and here are the lovely people who I just met. Hello. Hi. Hello. Colorful chickens. For some reason. I don't fully understand. So now it's not raining that much. It's just getting pretty cold. I was making my way up the mountains to higher elevation and the scenery got better and better. Oh, this looks nice. I mean, the view here is amazing. Just stop for a little bit to check out this view. Hello! Hi! See, that's what I'm talking about. People just shouting at me from cars and all that. They don't really understand what the f I'm doing here, really. And honestly, me neither. Guess it's time to move on. In a couple of minutes, I got pretty high up in the mountains. It's raining pretty bad and it's getting very cold. I think I'm going higher and higher in elevation. So yeah, adventure. I'm literally driving in the middle of a cloud. <laughs> the scenery is crazy here They're pretty much up in the mountain see a lot of plantations but i can't tell what they are it's a nice ride yeah i was riding through somewhere around there a bit further the roads got a little better rain clouds disappeared and i was ready to stop for a little break soon somewhere nice really beautiful weather now the sun is shining temperature is rising it's nice and hot and i am ready to continue this adventure all right, so apparently I'm next to an active volcano. There's so many clouds that I can't see the top of the volcano, but everyone's taking photos here, so it must be a, a local uh, attraction. I think you can climb this as well, but I'm really not sure. So this volcano is called Mount Sinabung, and uh, better days you can see the top of it. Right now, you know, it's just covered with the clouds. This is my first actual volcano that I see. 
or in this case I don't see. I just stopped at a really cool roadside coffee shop with some amazing view to the volcano to its not too friendly side. Like here it's completely ruined, it's just brown, grey and you can tell that this is the, the real side of the volcano. That's amazing. And meanwhile, this place is really cool. A lot of food options, a lot of drink options, so I got myself a avocado smoothie. So good, oh my god. This place is amazing. You? It's just 10 out of 10. My right, time to go. So I continued to go forward, and in a couple hours, I got to my destination. I think I arrived. Wow. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. Lake Toba, ladies and gentlemen, biggest volcanic lake in the world. Made it with this little bad boy right over here. Thank you. Water for you. Yes, one people, 7,000. Thank you. I just got to the actual viewpoint. One of the sickest place in this country so far. One side, you can see the lake, Lake Toba. And on the other side, you can see the ship show. Piso, Sipso Piso uh, waterfall, and both of them are breathtaking. Jeez, man. Wow. This waterfall is 120 meters tall, and I wonder if I can walk down there. I most definitely want to go down there. That view from up there was amazing, breathtaking, but I really want to go down to the bottom of the waterfall. We're getting there. Oh my god. As Yasus used to say, Amazing, Livis. Which is true. I miss you, my man. Hope you're doing good. Thank you. What the f dude? Look at that. It's all over the place. Oh my god, this is the most amazing waterfall I ever saw in my life. Oh my god, dude. This is literally the coolest thing ever. intense like as the water hits the ground super powerful it creates an incredible wind down there it's like you're staying in the middle of a storm if you turn to one side you can see this 120 meter tall waterfall and if you turn around you can see lake toba the biggest volcanic lake in the world what who came up with the idea nature nature oh my god how clever is that 